Hi everybody, thank you for watching. For those of you guys that are new, my name is Carly, and I am actually leaving in about an hour to head to the airport. I'm going on a very long vacation to Morocco, and I'm so excited about it. So I figured I would film myself getting ready for the airport today. Some of the times when I do fly, I wear no makeup, but on some days I want to doll myself up a little bit, so this routine was super quick and easy, and I really love how it came out. So if you guys want to see how I got this look right here, then please keep watching. To start off today's look, I'm using the Derma Doctor DD Cream, and this one adjusts to your skin tone, which is nice. I have a beautiful pimple everywhere, actually. So I'm actually just gonna rub it in with my hands, and then I'm gonna go in with my beauty blender. I'm also gonna apply it on my neck. For concealer, I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Retoucher in number two. This one's a nice lightweight concealer as well. I'm just going to apply this wherever I get dark, usually. Just like that. Obviously, if you want to wear less, feel free. This is just what I'm doing for today. There are times when I do travel with absolutely no makeup. This video wouldn't be too much fun if it was just me washing my face and saying, okay, I'm ready to go. Next up, I'm taking the Ben Nye Cameo Powder, and I'm just going to apply a little bit under my eyes to set that concealer and to prevent any creasing. I'm going to quickly fill in my brows a little bit. Now I'm going to wipe away the powder. I'm then taking my Natasha Denona Contour Kit and this shade right here. And I'm going to contour my nose a little bit because you already know. So now moving on to eyes, I actually just got in the new Urban Decay Born to Run collection, which is a whole travel collection. It came in this cute little box, and what better time to use it than on my way to the airport. So this is the inside of the kit. We have the eyeshadow palette, three lipsticks, three liners, and a setting spray. I love the whole theme of this collection, so I'm going to be using the Born to Run eyeshadow palette today on my eyes. I just got my eyelashes done yesterday, and I had her do like more than usual because I am going away for two and a half weeks, and I want them to stay. So if they look a little crazy, that's why. So this is the Born to Run palette. It has pictures of all different countries all over it, which is so cool. I love this idea. And then when you open it up, it has all of these beautiful shades and it has this mirror right here as well. So I'm definitely going to be bringing this palette with me on vacation. There's so many amazing colors in this. And when I first opened it, I was like, yes, this is like right up my alley with the purples, the oranges, the peaches, there's browns shimmer browns and then you also have some greens which is nice as well so since i am keeping it pretty light on the face today i want to keep it somewhat light on the eyes this peachy color is kind of speaking to me um it's going to add like a little bit of color to the eye but yet it's still going to keep it like pretty neutral so i'm going to pick up still shot and i'm going to apply that all over my lid What I also love is how big this mirror is. I don't know if I already said that, but to travel, it's always good to have a mirror that you can like really use because sometimes they don't have those close-up mirrors where you're staying, which always is a little bit of a problem for me at least. And the lighting in the bathroom is never amazing, so I can just bring this palette right in front of a window and make sure everything's looking nice, which is cool. I'm gonna grab a large blending brush and pick up the color Riff, and I'm gonna apply that right into my crease. With a smaller blending brush, I'm going to pick up the color Good As Gone, just a little bit, and apply that right into the crease, like the outer crease, just to give my eyes a little bit more dimension. I'm then picking up the color Blaze. And this is really pretty because it has like a peachy undertone, which goes nice with the eyes, with the eyelids, I should say. And I'm also going to apply this right in the tear duct. So I'm going to apply a little bit of eyeliner. This one is by Flower. Then for my lower lash line, I'm going to pick up the color Ignite. And 
and I'm gonna do I think only lower mascara today because like I said I do have a lot of top lashes going on right now So while my lower mascara is drying, I'm going to apply a little bit of bronzer slash contour. So that one was a little too gray, I think. I'm going to grab this Milani Baked Bronzer. It's going to give me a little bit more of like a warm glow and a little bit of like a shimmer, which is nice. Perfect. And now we're going to wipe away the powder. I'm going to go in with the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. And this is like a minier version, so it's perfect for travel. And I'm just going to spray my face. Push all the product together looks really natural I'm just going back in with the color riff and I'm just gonna apply a tiny bit more just a little bit just in the crease to highlight my nose I'm actually gonna use the same palette the color breakaway I'm just gonna apply a little bit on my nose And also Cupid's bow. And a little on my tear duct. For blush, I'm using Sweet Pea by Flower. For lip liner, I am using the color Free Spirit by NYX. This color matches the eyes perfectly. And to finish the look off, I'm going to go back in with the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. I'm gonna bring this and put this right in my purse because it's just so refreshing. And I love bringing a setting spray with me on the plane because you get super dehydrated, so definitely gonna throw this right into my purse. So I finally was able to wash my hair. Um, I love to travel with a braid, so I think what I'm gonna do is like a French Dutch braid. So I'm gonna just show you guys how I usually do it. I'll take like a bigger section to start. So I like to split it into three, like so. I know it's kind of hard to see because my hair's dark. We're gonna take this section, put it under the middle section, and then this section and put it under that middle section and then pull it. So now it's all kind of in three sections still. We're gonna take this one again and put it under and then tighten. And then with this section, we're gonna grab a piece of hair you want to make sure it's smooth before you pull it. Pull tight. Section of hair. Make sure it's like brushed and smoothed. And that's going to go under that middle piece. And if you guys want, I do have a full like Dutch braid tutorial. This is a little bit hard to understand. Um, so we're going to just keep doing the same thing. bring it to the front and then just braid and then I like to just pull the braid to make it look bigger and it'll get like super messy in a little bit so I kind of like 
I don't want to make it like, too messy because it always somehow becomes a mess. So this is the final result. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll show you my full outfit in a minute. I just gotta go change, finish packing, and then I have to hit the road, so I'm so excited. I will be filming while I'm out there, so definitely comment below and let me know what you guys wanna see while I am away. I packed so many things, so I can't wait to show you guys some of the outfits that I bought and styled for this trip. Please make sure to subscribe if you aren't already, and also click that bell to get post notifications every time that I post. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching, and until next time, I'll see you guys later.